Saturday morning. We see a, somebody bring on a hut in, signaling the end of the season for them. Here's the ministry out checking people for licenses and so on, doing his job, doing a very efficient job. Very good. Thanks, folks. Okay, Have that was good, day. eh? Good luck. There's some customers getting ready to go out on this wonderful Saturday morning, March 15th, the last day of the hut rentals for Terry Goy. There he is, bringing the hut in. One more hut coming off. This is the Weather Network interviewing Terry Goy. Is Terry Goy. Okay, and uh, tell me a little bit about the season this year. Oh, it hasn't been a bad season. It's good. We had a good finish to it. The ice is about 20 inches thick here, and uh, snow went down. Fishing is good, and but March 15th is here. They have to come off. Why is that? That's just a law. They changed the law now. You know, I guess they got to put a date on there sometime or other. And I think it's a good time. People had a good uh, two months of fishing. That's long enough with the huts. So the reason for the March 15th deadline is uh, the ice could start to deteriorate quickly. Is that it? Yeah, some seasons it could be real bad on shore and you wouldn't be able to get your huts off. Okay. Now the season started. Tell me a little bit about the start of the season. Well, I was on the ice here at uh, the end of December. Then we got that warm spell and I took them off. Uh, around the 5th of January and had them off for 10 days and I had to put them back on again. Once winter finally did get going, uh, how, how good a season was it for you? Yeah, it was a pretty good season. It stayed pretty steadily cold all the time and uh, that was pretty good. I'd take this winter anyway. Were you starting to wonder though in January when you had open water and plus 10 degrees? Yeah, I was thinking ice was going to break up here. There was We were down to 2 inches in the center of the lake right here. That was all that was left. And then that cold spell came and just uh, put the ice back on again. You were lucky. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now uh, getting these uh, huts off the ice, how hard is that? Oh, it's pretty simple when you can drive out here uh, to get the help and just you know throw them right on, and uh, it's not really much to it at all. What about all the snow? Well, the snow is not too bad now. A couple of days ago, I couldn't be do this. I couldn't be doing this because uh, too deep. I had to use my sleigh back under it, jack it up, and then drop them on shore, and then uh, put them on the wagon again. I had to double handle them. And how's business been this year? A lot of people at first thought, oh, you know, it's gonna be, it was too warm, or the warm weather, did people finally come out? Well, sure, the season was good, but it's these, uh, these radio stations and TV stations that always tell you to stay off the lake, and they don't know a thing about it. And what would your, your advice be to people I'd, who do want to go out on the I'd say uh, check the, the website, my website, all they got to do is Google Terry Goy and I'll come right up and I have a almost daily update on it at the start of the year and even right till the end to get the, you know, the conditions for where I'm going off here in Guilford, Ontario. Okay, perfect. Okay, thanks. And another hut comes off. Mr. Goy taking the office hut off. So this is something that you do every every year, right? Yeah, every winter. every winter. Okay. Maybe you can just dis describe uh, how, how the season's been out on the ice. Well, it's been a good season down in Guilford. Uh, the ice came in a bit late. Not too unusual, though. But when it all held together and finally froze up good, it was a good year. Fishing was good. Weather was decent. It's all done now until next year. Okay. So describe to me what has happened today. Well, I, all the huts have to be off by midnight tonight, March 15th. So is that a lot of work? <laughs> Can be. Can be. <laughs> yeah. Describe your system. Looks like you had this worked out for you. Well, over the years we've gotten the system going and it seems to work every time. So load the huts in the wagon. We can drive out with the truck in the wagon. It's a lot easier than handling them two times. And just slide them on and take them home and put them away till next year. Okay. Thank you. No Another hut goes off the ice.
Two gentlemen out there all day. Had a great day of fishing. Absolutely. You're happy Beautiful. and you're going home. Yes. All right. See you next year. Here we have a <laughs> couple got a ba two bag full of fish today. They had a wonderful day. It's yeah, you know awesome. It. We're coming Excellent. back. Thanks a lot. You're Let's coming back. Here. Thank you. Right on, yeah. All right. Lucky that snow went down. Yeah. Remember three days ago I could hardly drive yeah, here. Yeah, I know. Day. Imagine getting that now. Yeah, well, I'd have to put them on the sleigh in the snow machine. Yeah. Here we go. He's taking the last of his huts off for the 2008 ice fishing season in Guilford, Ontario. Had a great season. Thank you very much. See you next year. Bye for now.